Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Whether you're a new subscriber or a long-time viewer, we're thrilled to have you here. Iraq has been seeking for two years to end the phenomenon of dealing in dollars in the local market. While economic experts indicate that the Central Bank of Iraq's measures have achieved, relative, success in controlling hard currency, the year 2023 witnessed an unprecedented rise in the dollar exchange rate, reaching 1,700 diners per dollar and continuing for several weeks before gradually declining at the end of the year to reach a level ranging between 1,470 and 1,450 diners per dollar during the past two months. The Iraqi currency crisis began after the U.S. Treasury Department banned 14 Iraqi banks from the global banking transfer mechanism known as SWIFT in an attempt to prevent the smuggling of dollars to Iran. Today, Friday, MP Ali Anasif announced that she will direct a parliamentary question to the governor of the central bank, Ali Al-Alak regarding the violations committed by the National Bank. Nassif said in a blog post on the X platform that I followed Al Sumaria News, we sent a parliamentary question to the governor of the central bank, regarding the National Bank's violation and breach of Iraqi laws. She added, the question included an inquiry about the number of Iraqi and non-Iraqi employees in the National Bank, the number of executive positions held by non-Iraqis in this bank, and the reasons for not disclosing the salaries of its employees, especially non-Iraqis to the Social Security Department due to information about tax evasion, 